Hi, welcome to Zios Tech. In this video, we'll discuss basics of spreadsheet and we will create a simple invoice in Google Sheets using formulas and formatting. Google Sheets is a powerful free online spreadsheet software. The spreadsheet is used for analysis and storage of data in tables. In simple words, a spreadsheet is a grid made up of rows and columns into which information can be entered. Each row is identified by a row number which runs vertically at the left side of the sheet. Each column is identified alphabetically, which runs horizontally at the top of the sheet. The intersection of rows and columns is called cell. The cell is identified with the combination of column header and row number. For example, cell A1 is the cell on column A and row 1. Cell E4 is the cell on column E and row 4. Now. Let's create a spreadsheet using Google Sheets. Go to drive.google.com. For this, you will need to have a Google account. If you don't have one, you can create it for free. It will only take a few moments. In the Google Drive, click plus and new on the top left and select Google Sheets. It will create a blank spreadsheet. Another cool shortcut to create a new spreadsheet in Google Sheets is to write sheets.new in the browser and it will create a new spreadsheet for you. Name the spreadsheet in the top left corner. We will make a simple invoice. So let's name it my new invoice. The basic invoice will have a serial number, item description, quantity, price and row total. So let's start with writing these headings on the first row. For serial number, we can write SN for short. Item description can be written as just description. Quantity can be written as QTY in short. Row total can be called amount for better understanding. You can resize the column and rows by clicking and dragging. Hover the mouse pointer between the column or rows indexes and the mouse pointer will change to the bar with double arrows. Dragging the bar left, right or up and down will change the size. To make multiple columns and rows the same size, you can select them all and resize. So now, as we are done with the headings, we'll fill the invoice details. Pretend we are a fruit seller. So let's create an invoice for some healthy and delicious fruits. Serial number one will be five boxes of strawberries, each for $4. In the description, we'll give a short and precise description for the product, such as strawberries 1LB box. Serial number 2 will be 7 golden apples for 99 cents each. Note that for 99 cents, we'll write 0 0.99 as we are doing calculations in dollars. Next, instead of writing serial number 1 by 1, we can drag the sequence and the Google Sheet will automatically fill it. Highlight the two cells having serial number 1 and 2 by selecting them. Drag the quick fix handle, which is a small square. Note that the mouse cursor will show a plus sign when you hover over it. Drag till the next three cells so that we have five serial numbers. Now we'll add a few more items. 12 bananas for 50 cents each, 6 oranges for 40 cents each, and 3 boxes of cherries for 4 dollars. Note that we are not writing anything on the amount column as we want to apply formulas so Google Sheets can automatically fill this information. The amount is calculated simply by multiplying the price with quantity. So instead of amount, we will ask Google Sheets to multiply these two cells. Every formula starts with an equal sign. To multiply the corresponding cells, we will type the name of the cells and we will put an asterisk between them as asterisk is used for multiplications in computer. Another tip is that we can just click on these cells and the name will be automatically entered. Using this formula, you can do simple calculations such as plus for addition, minus for subtraction, and for division, we can use the forward slash. To apply the formula, we just create it to the rest of the cells. Simply select that cell 
and drag the quick fix handle to the remaining cells. The most important part of any invoice is total amount. For that we'll use some formula which will automatically calculate the total for us. For this we'll have to give a range of cells that need to be added. Using the formula is very simple. Equal signs, type sum and range of the cells in bracket. For providing the range of cells, give the first cell, column sign and last cell. You can also select the cells and click the function and sum from the menu. There are other common functions such as average, count, minimum and maximum. Now as we have created the basic invoice, let's change some style to make it more attractive. You can select the whole sheet by clicking the top left corner. Let's change the font to Georgia and font size to 12. In the menu, you will see the name of the font. Default is Arial and the default font size is 10. Select the whole column or row by clicking the index. To add the store name and details, we need to add some rows on the top. Select the top row, right click and select insert one above. To add multiple rows at once, select multiple rows. Similarly, you can also delete and clear rows and columns. Write the name of the store on the top new row. Let's name it ABC Organic Store. Change the font size to 18. The name of the store is spanning over multiple columns. If we resize the first column, it will resize the serial numbers as it's the same column. To accommodate the shop name, we'll merge the cells. Select the cells we want to merge and click the Merge Cells button from the menu. To align it in the center, you can choose horizontal alignment from the menu to the center. Similarly, you can also use vertical alignments. We can use colors to make the invoice more beautiful. We can change the color of text and cells. Select the cells. Look for the A with the color bar on the bottom to apply the text color. Similarly, use the color bucket from the menu to change the cell color. You can make the total amount bold to make it look more important. You can also try italic and strike through if needed. Look for the B in the menu. Apply the borders to the invoice. Select cells, click the border icon from the menu and select all borders. This will create an outline on all cells. To make the invoice more meaningful, let's format price and amount column as currency. Select the cells and click the dollar sign from the menu. It will show the currency sign and make it two decimal places. Google Sheets are automatically saved in your Google Drive. Just make sure you are always connected to the internet. Thanks for being with us. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have still not subscribed to our channel, Zeostack, please subscribe and ring the bell notification icon. If you have any questions or suggestions, Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks again. See you next time.